There's a virus that most people don't think about, yet over half of us will get it at some point in our lives. It's called HPV, human papilloma virus. Some types are harmless. Some cause words and some can cause cancer. Let's break it all down in under five minutes. HPV infects only humans, and there are over 200 types. Scientists divide them into two main groups based on where they like to live, what's called their tissue tropism. Cutaneous HPV infects the skin and causes things like common words on your hands and feet. Mucosal HPV infects the moist surfaces like the mouth, throat, genitals, and anus. And these are the ones linked to cancers and genital warts. In this video, we're talking about the mucosal types because these are the ones that can seriously affect your health. Mucosal HPV spreads through skin-to-skin -skin contact, especially sexual contact. That includes vaginal, oral, and anal sex, but also close genital-to-genital -genital contact without penetration. Condoms help reduce the risk, but they can't fully protect you because HPV can infect areas of skin that aren't covered. And here's an important point. The more sexual partners you've had, the higher your chance of getting HPV, simply because you've had more opportunities for exposure. Most people with HPV have no symptoms. They don't even know they're infected. The good news? In many cases, the body's immune system clears the virus on its own within one to two years. The not so good news, sometimes it doesn't go away, and that's when it can cause problems like genital warts or years later, cancer. For example, in women, HPV can cause cervical or vaginal cancer. In men, it can cause penile cancer. In both sexes, it can cause throat or anal cancer. Women can be screened for cervical cancer with a pap smear or HPV test starting at age 21. There's currently no standard test for genital HPV in men or for HPV in the mouth or throat. The best way to prevent HPV, the HPV vaccine. It works best before your exposure to the virus, ideally before you become sexually active. That's why doctors recommend getting it between ages 9 and 12. It can be given up to age 26 and sometimes even between 27 and 45, depending on your situation. If you're under 15 years old, you need two doses, at least six months apart. If you're 15 or older, you need three doses. First dose at month zero. Second dose, one to two months later. Third dose, six months after the first dose. The vaccine is very safe and it protects against the mucosal HPV types most likely to cause cancer or genital warts. HPV is common, often silent, and sometimes it goes away on its own. But when it doesn't, it can have serious consequences. Get vaccinated before sexual activity starts. Get screened and spread awareness, not the virus. Prevention is always better than treatment. If you found this helpful, hit subscribe, like, and share this video. You never know who might need this information.